welcome to our no name podcast. We are still working on it. Travel, travel talk show talk show podcast. Holiday tours travel talk show podcast. Yes. Yes. Episode two. Episode two. And uh well as well as you can see here, you joined with Tanya and me, Kelvin, and welcome to our new setup. Is it nice? Isn't it great? Thank you, boss. Yes, thank you, boss. <laughs> we we rented it from our boss. So this is his room actually. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so so for um okay so for today uh what our main topic is what we're talking about we'll be talking about travel hacks yes so travel hacks is quite a huge thing on social media you see tiktok yeah. everyone's like oh have you tried this hack you know yeah, like, yeah. wake up early in the morning to beat the crowd everything but do does it work does it really work does it and does it really apply to you as well? Correct. Yeah, and you see like people like hundreds of hacks, 70 hacks, 80 mm. hacks, create hacks. But do you really use it? Does it really apply to you? Is it really that practical? And is a hack really a hack? I mean, if everyone's using it, is it really a hack? Yes, that's exactly. right. So we're going to be talking mm. uh, about these hacks. We'll be sharing a few of our own hacks that yes. tried and tested. And mm-hmm. some may or may not have worked. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Okay. So... so you want to go first? Okay. Okay, you yeah, go first. Yeah, yeah. go first? Okay. okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to go first. So uh, what happened is that both of us prepared it and I'm going to start with... Um, okay, this one's like may divide opinions because I did ask people in the office as well about okay. flight seating. Okay. So when you choose your flights or flight seatings, do you take window or the one near the aisle? It depends. If I'm flying um, overnight, mm-hmm. I'll take window oh. so that I have the... Okay. Yeah. But if I'm flying during the day in the morning where I know the scenery won't be like, you know, it's just going to be clouds, right? Okay. And I know I'll be awake, I will take the aisle seat so that I can go to the toilet. You see, that's the thing. That's the thing. This is what divided people's opinion because for me, what I think is that the seat near the aisle is elite. Disregarding, disregarding. It is. Yeah, because you're going for the scenery and easy to 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 mm, to lie mm, on the mm. side. But for me, because lying on the side is not much issue. You can buy those like special, yeah, those special I uh, poor, okay. thing. I I poor. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can share you some. Oh, I thought you were sharing me. Okay, share. okay. Oh, you put together like. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, because one thing is, most of the time you don't want to be waking up halfway through the flight where. Uh, people like oh excuse me you know yeah, like you true. go through or you want to bother other people because I'm a very anxious fire so when I when I sit in my seat I just sit planted and I just don't want to bother ah. one but when, when you need to go you need to go right, right so right. <laughs> I'll be like um, excuse me excuse me but I I dare not disturb the other person because if they are in a deep so sleep then you're, just, then you're just trapped there I'm just gonna mm. wee all over the ground on the plane a a a a a a a a <laughs> yeah I mean it's, it's crazy because it's nice to sleep but you're still gonna bother other people that's the first thing second thing is if you sit in the aisle yes you don't have to bother anyone but also um, you may have the chance of like just getting out of the plane faster than the rest easier to get your luggage easier to get in get out mm. so you're not kind of like trapped in there and all but of course everyone could agree if your plane some says uh, if your plane is a 252 two, or a 333 three, three, yeah and if you are trapped right in the center oh <laughs> sorry la I pray I mean, for you <laughs> that's why right, you pay yeah. for your yeah that's we why pay you for pay our seats to, right yeah to pick your seats in advance uh, yeah yeah but the best seats always the emergency seat I believe yeah but you know, yeah. airlines also charge you now they do right no yeah but there's some airlines I did go uh, shout out to uh, Melinda and uh, other like Thai Airways they actually look at your appearance like oh this person can operate a oh. emergency door then they just gave it to me that okay yeah. that, that, that that makes sense because yeah. I don't understand if let's say uh, auntie yeah. decides to buy that see how is she gonna operate it right. so I'm like mm-hmm. yeah so actually sometimes they do um, I mean, this is like from one of our colleagues. They actually do tell us like when they fly on the uh, airplanes, certain air, uh, airlines, they actually do look at your physique, physique, physique yeah, whether yeah. you're able to even operate Correct. the door or not. And that's great 
if it's a short flight, like maybe if it's a two hour flight, three hour flight, then that's fine. If let's say you're doing a 14 hour long flight, um, the seat doesn't really recline. It doesn't really mm. move back so well. Um, so uh, it depends. It really does depend. But if you've got a chance, yeah. But I mean, circling back to the window at our seat, yeah. bit, right? I mean, mm. for me, mm-hmm. because Let's say I'm flying overnight. I know there's going to be a nice sunrise. Yeah. Hence why I always go for the window seat. Mm. That's it's, it's two prong, okay? One is the nice scenery. Yeah. And of course, I get the thing to lie to rest on. Mm-hmm. And as for using the toilet and needing to stretch my leg, I've come to the point where I can kind of plan out my bladder. Mm, <laughs> you, yeah. I kind of have an estimate of like, okay, how long I would need to like... Usually, I would plan to go to the toilet at least two hours before we land. So mm-hmm. that I can go freshen up, use the toilet, and then I don't need to get up again after that. So you go to the toilet before you go. I go to the toilet. Ah, that's a hidden hack. That's a hidden hack. Yeah. You go to the toilet. Hack, hack, yeah. you go to the toilet I before. usually go to. I will hydrate like crazy at the airport. Ah. Okay. And I use the toilet. I don't care how many times. I can go like five times in within the. Oh my gosh. Girl bladder sometimes like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. Girl, it's not girl bladder. It's girl bladder. <laughs> girl bladder. It's not girl so, bath. It's girl bladder. But the important thing is I'm staying hydrated. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. by t- then, at a certain point, when it comes to like boarding, I stop drinking. Or mm-hmm. take very tiny sips. And by then, you know, your bladder kind of like adjusts to it. Mm. And so by the time I actually do need to go to the toilet, it's usually maybe six hours into the flight. And by then, it'll mm. be like, you're going to land soon. Yeah. And so I only need to get out of the toilet to go but once. But you do consume liquids on the plane as well. Yeah. But yeah. you be smart about be it. Be smart about be it. Smart. Yeah. Take sips, don't gulp it down type of thing. Mm. Yeah. So I think it also comes down to knowing your body. Yes. That's training why. Training your body. With that hack, if you are a nervous flyer like me and a person who has nervous peeing, anxious mm. most of the time, uh, don't sit near the window. <laughs> Many times, I nearly just burst. It's yeah. very hard <laughs> so... when you fly full service flights like yeah. Cathay or JL or yeah. A&E, right? Because yeah. you get order as much drinks as you want. Yeah. And usually, there's alcohol included. Yes. <laughs> Which is actually a direct thing. It makes you go to the toilet a lot. Yes. But on budget airlines, it's like... Coffee, okay, coffee dehydrates you. Yes. You go to the toilet a lot as well. But I still like my coffee. I love coffee now. It's yeah. like bougie coffee. Yeah, when you're drinking it Does it there. taste better up there? I don't Does know. Does it taste better up there? I don't I think like so. <laughs> I don't feel like... Well, anyway, it's not It's not exactly bougie. So you can't really tell the beans apart, yeah. right? So yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's, okay. that's my, that's my, my turn. My turn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so mine is also kind of like airline airport related. Flying okay. related. Yeah. But I think this only applies if you're traveling by yourself. All right. Or maybe in two people. Okay. So, you know your luggages, mm. like when you put it in, do you see like, and when it comes out of the the, the carousel, yep. is there a timing do you notice? Is there a timing? Mm. Is there? Mm. I so didn't realize. Yeah. I tried this hack when I traveled to Japan last year okay. by myself. Okay. So, I was thinking like, if I check in my bag late, Okay. Like, I'm one of the last to check in. Okay. Would that mean my bag is stacked at the end of the plane, nearer to the door? <gasps> oh. So, it comes out first. Oh. Ah. And I tried it twice. And it actually works there. I got my luggage out first. Eh. Oh, by the time I, By the time I came out to the carousel, I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's already there, going circles. Oh. oh. And I don't have to wait. So, I quickly just grab it and go. Oh, I never thought of it. Yeah. The first in, first out. It's last, yeah, last, in, last, last in, last in, last first out. Last in, first that's in first out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But it only works if you're traveling in small groups. Mm-hmm. Um, preferably if you're by yourself, lah. I mean, if you want to grab it and go, it's faster. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have uh layover flights, because layover oh, yeah. we don't know where layover is going to jumble. It's yeah. going to jumble it. Yeah, because if your flight lands late, it will be obviously you will be at the back of the plane because you'll be the last yeah. to board. Or if it's early, you might be in the front of the plane. So we mm. don't know for layover. But this usually works if you have a you have a dive flight, yeah. you're traveling in small groups or by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that's my hack. So try and test it. So you're always late. Not to say late, <laughs> but I will be like towards I, I'm gonna take this note, okay? When we go on a company trip, I'll be like, Tanya, where's Tanya? Oh, she's doing the baggage thing. Actually, ironically, <gasps> I'm usually at the airport three hours before. Three hours. I'm that type of person. I want to be at the airport early. I like airports, I don't know why. This because it's very I like it's part of the it's, great, it's part of yeah. the journey. For me, traveling starts the moment I leave the house with my suitcase. I I can't. 
I love it. I, I love traveling. I, there, I, I love traveling, but I just sit in the airport. I'd be like, oh, it's two hours. I can walk around nothing. the airport. I love walking yes, around Yes, you airports. can walk around. Once you drop off all your baggage, I mean, you can still walk a little I mean, bit in the still, terminal. If I'm in like Japan or Bangkok, well, I'll still be shopping. At of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be like yeah, last yeah. minute checking in. Yes, and everything, but if you talk stuff. about like KRIA, like in our local airport, I think like... Mm. Mm, it's huge it's huge it's, it's huge. huge you can get your steps in you can get your steps in but as for things to do and see nothing much not la, much let's yeah, be frank about yeah. it la. KRA please buck up <laughs> so anyway <laughs> uh, but what I usually do if I go to like KRA yeah. I'll just go and chill at yeah. one of the cafes or mm. fast food there yeah. Just chill. Just back, get a book right? yeah, or something, just, read yeah, something, correct. or listen to a podcast hit hint. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh. so I'll, I just, okay, I, I will be at the check-in counter a little bit late once all the big group has gone yeah, in. Yeah. But before that, I'll just be chilling. Cause yeah, I don't want maybe to somewhere push. like almost in the middle or like the last quarter of people yes, just checking exactly. in, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's really smart. Yes. Okay, so last in, first out. Yeah. May apply. Uh, yeah. Airlines, be careful of this. Oh no! Yeah. I mean, she's she's don't taking don't advantage of your systems, class, you know. Ma. Yeah. You don't give me priorities. <laughs> so if I think of these things, ma. yeah, yeah. Uh, hint, hint, mass airlines. Okay, next. <laughs> yes. So my second one is, um, okay, this is what I always do, uh, and I feel some people do it as well. I'm not sure if you do it as well. Mm. Uh, fashion. Fashion plays a very important role. Okay. Why? Yes. Okay. First things first. When you go through the immigration custom part where they scan your whole body and all. Yep. What did they ask you to do? Take off whatever accessories, mm-hmm. take out your bag, mm-hmm. your, your laptop and everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. Exactly. I don't wear belts. And I sometimes wear like those covered slippers with socks sometimes. Covered socks. <laughs> <laughs> just either slippers with socks or something like okay, that. Okay, okay. You know, not, just reduce the amount of things you have to take off your body yes. when you go through customs. I Even agree. your watch. Yep. So what I like to do is, is that I like to prepare a small little bag with all my items inside, like my passport, everything, Mm-mm-mm. with my books or tablet if you do have any. Um, but as well, if I have like watches or phone, wallet, I just toss everything in there when I go through custom, I just toss the whole bag in there. Mm. But don't wear belts. I notice a lot of people yes. wear belts. They're like, oh, oh, correct. They're like struggling with every single yeah. time, and then they hold up the entire line. Correct, correct. Because they're wearing belts. That, yeah, yeah. So I don't wear belts at all. Mm. I just wear like joggers or something like very I that comfy. Too, actually, that's actually yeah. one of my not to say hack like, I just uh-huh. it's my way of moving efficiently. Yeah. So I'm sorry to those people who like not familiar with but you all okay, you all learn how to speed up. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, not like yeah, watches move it before as yes. you approach watches, the line. Bracelets. Bracelets. Some of you wear combat boots. Like why oh, are yeah. you wearing My goodness combat me. boots? It's like combat then you have to like unlace it and everything. It's, it's it can't be complicated. Because fashion. Oh yeah, that's true. Like. Because fashion. Yeah. So are we really oh this might be a nice podcast thing, you know? Like but fashion. Airport like fashion. really, yeah. Are we really like is it fashion first or comfort first? Like or some efficiency like, first. Yeah, efficiency yeah. first. Are you For like, me, it's efficiency. Efficiency. First. So when whenever I dress, I dress. Okay, like comfort is definitely the key because you're going to be on a plane, you're yeah. going to be stationary, you yeah. might be cold, might be hot. So you have yeah. to like factor that in when you're going to fly. But I'm thinking like when I'm going through immigration and how to move fast. Yes. Yeah, my watch is, well, the Apple watch moves very, it can be taken off very easily. Yeah. And I just chuck it into the bag, like you said. Yeah. Everything goes into the bag. Yep. Your laptop and then whatever I need that I know that I might have to take out like your batteries or what is mm-hmm. usually at the top of my luggage so that if they ask me to take it out it's immediately out. I don't have uh, to like yes, scramble yes. for You it. put all of your charges all your batteries yeah, on top, right? Your power banks and yes. everything. All these things you yes. don't you cannot check in. Mm-hmm. You put it at the top of your bag so that if they need to check it you can take it out immediately. Yeah. yeah. That's the idea, right? Mm. Because efficiency is so much better. Like yeah. I just go through and then if my friends have any I just look at them. Like, it's like, oh, Why are you so newbies. slow? First I time, judge uh, them. Yeah, first time, like, first time, I'm really there. I'll just like stand, I'll stand at the end and like, check out there, be like, look at them like, hurry up. I'll be like, I'll meet you at the gate. I'll just you. be like, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah so we, we dress for efficiency. And also, also, also additional layer, mm. I always have like a hoodie or something. Layering. So layering, so you can yeah. actually have some clothes 
no additional quotes on you can carry mm. uh layering and it's great. actually on e i don't know if you related unrelated mm-hmm. i usually dress for the destination that i'm arriving in Ah, uh, let's say if it's winter, then you'll uh, dress I up. I will have a heavy thicker, coat really yeah. in my jacket, uh, in my bag, just yeah. in case. You know, you never know if you're yeah. If it's up. rainy, then you have like a little uh, umbrella. You dress for coat. the destination. Yeah. So if I'm like going from Mal- uh, from a cold country, maybe Switzerland in mm. winter or what, and mm. traveling back to Malaysia, usually at the airport, I'll be wearing like three quarter pants. Mm. So that by the time I get back, my body is more or less like climatized to the temperature. So I won't be like, Take your whole my heat tag and everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's another. So thing. that's one of the hack. Yeah. So yeah. related, like, segue all over back on to. Well, I mean, it's fashion. Yeah, so fashion, kind of fashion, fashion. Yeah, and all. Uh, yeah, wear less belts. Really, just L- less, less metal, less metal stuff, and have a bag with yeah. you, a small bag, and just toss everything in there. Yeah. Really, you will save so much time, and you'll be, and you get to look at people. <laughs> Judge them. I mean, if everybody <laughs> does this right and be more considerate of how they what they wear to the airport. It's the so lines will fast, be so much faster. So much faster. So yeah, everyone do your yeah. part lah. Yeah, basically basically lah. La. Mm. Mm. Okay, since we're on uh, the yes. topic of fashion, yeah. yes. Okay, when you go to a country, you know everyone relies on weather apps and everything, yeah. right? But that's mostly like a forecast. On the day itself, how do you know what the temperature is going to be like? Ooh. Okay, and what to wear, and what's the place going to look like? So my mm. hack is go on IG stories. <gasps> so you go to the location. Okay. When you go IG, when you go to IG, you go to the location, you search okay. it up, and then you can see the IG stories, what happening, what's happening on the spot, right? Yeah. And you can actually see pretty much more or less within the last 24 hours what mm. the situation is like there, what mm. people are wearing, mm. and what you can expect the temperature to mm-hmm. be like, because you know, people might put in the timing and everything. So that gives you an idea of what you can expect when you're visiting a certain attraction. Oh so my that's gosh. my travel hack. That is such a funny, funny segue back to my friend's story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to share this. I'm so sorry, but um, not say recently, but I remember last time, mm. people in France, they love to riot. They love to rebel, you know, if there's like something wrong with the law. And and good on it, good on it, because they get their voice heard. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hilarious. <laughs> it was so hilarious. I have to share because there was a huge riot going on because they were not happy with something. Um, I don't quote me on this, but um there was like something about like uh pays and payments, uh salary and all mm-hmm. that, you know, how people are being paid and all. And people went crazy. The whole everyone just decided to maybe not start their, 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 their shops they just like close down things everything was like full on things burning on the streets wow. and all my friend decided to book a flight to Paris at that time and she know there's a riot going on is it she's insane Chiba. I think it's cheaper I'm not sure because she booked right quite early and then the <gasps> riot happened so oh. <laughs> Doing her IG stories, right? Can you imagine if you view the IG stories on my friend? She can have her la croissant and then in behind like people burning stuff. <laughs> people are like, but people are really nice. They're just angry at a uh, certain parties. But if you talk about being a tourist and just them among everyone, they're actually very nice. Business still goes on, they still serve their baguette and everything, you know, all that. And you have your 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 pastries with a very interesting so background. Like civilized so, rioting. Yes. Okay. Um well mm. Mm, <laughs> yes. Very uh peaceful, but it's so hilarious. It's so hilarious. So when you said about like checking stories, can you imagine like we check it's like, oh, let's go to Paris, you know? So, 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 so that looks fun. That looks fun. <laughs> you know, it's like you can enjoy your, your pastry while you look at how people do it. You know, so it's, it's real really so funny. funny. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So it's so surreal <laughs> I mean not yeah. to take advantage of other people's misfortune but yeah. sometimes when these things do happen it's out of your control you just yes. make the best out of it yes I mean with this type of things there'll be less tourists on the streets people are more cautious so you just go yeah. there it's quieter I, my friend is contributing to the tourism correct yeah, yeah. it's so amazing but um, yeah it's interesting it's seeing the stories and actually seeing what people wear Mm. It, and just, so it really like tells a lot about and also place. coming back to what people wear as certain yep. attractions mm. temples mm. yes temples, I mean people yeah. need to learn how to dress up <laughs> yes. properly and have be more respectful so mm. I mean when you go on IG 
to see what people wear at temples. Mm. Take it with a pinch of salt. Some people do not have a sense of fashion and have no sense of courtesy when it comes to wearing yes. clothes and these places. I think we see that a lot. Yes, that's funny. There's something happening. <laughs> yeah, people are agreeing. People are agreeing with us, right, Sunny? <laughs> yes. So, um, do you do you see like a fair share of people, like especially when you go to Bangkok, mm. the places with a lot of temples? Um, yes. Even say even Japan, no? everywhere temples, right? Um, they just you can tell that someone made a mistake. <laughs> can tell the the sad sash the sad yeah. the sad cover up yeah i mean you can spot the foreign <laughs> you the can tourists. spot the tourists yeah. in that place yeah so um yeah story but i think tells all this about, just yeah. comes down to doing your research and yeah. being aware of the culture that you're going to yeah and you be mindful about it right your culture onto yeah. The country that you're visiting yeah, yeah it comes down oh to my respect gosh, this woman like i mean i have so much like friends things like this woman was like uh, there's an interview asking this woman it's like oh you know she's giving feedback i was like why do you think about tourists like speaking english in france they said like, oh no they should speak uh french you know it, it, why speak english we speak french here you know then i was like then the person asked so if people go to china um why do they speak then she said Oh, they speak English. Then it's like, uh, what? No? <laughs> then it's like, but if you go there, because I asked her, what do you do if you go there? They say, oh, I'll speak English. Then we were like, then why shouldn't you, why shouldn't you be speaking Chinese? Shouldn't you be speaking Mandarin? Mm, or at least the yeah. basic yeah. things. Then she's like, she's, she's like, took her some time to process. Then she, then she realized that she yeah. said something wrong. <laughs> it's like, oh, I speak English. I was like, yeah. Yeah, um, you know, so... Yep. Mindful and be courteous. Mm. Mm. Not really a travel hack, just more common sense. Yeah. But you learn a lot from, from seeing the stories. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Or oh, it's like you I hashtag you do that. the areas. I, do I didn't that. do that. The geotags, yeah. yeah. That's why whenever I travel, I put the location so that someone can benefit from what I'm seeing. Oh, okay, hers are really good. <laughs> it had you, really good. Really, least, really you good can live vicariously content. through my Yes, I stories. always do. And everyone that goes through... So go stock. <laughs> <laughs> I am Kelvin Cook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is food. Okay, is wait, that, now it's your turn. My turn. Okay, so... Um, I don't know whether mine is a very interesting... Because this one was also found online. But I also do it as well. Okay. This is a bit weird and strange. Okay, just hear me out. Whenever you leave your room, what was the first thing that goes in your head? What's the first paranoia? Like the first thing that like you worry? In a hotel room. When, leave when you the leave the hotel room. Did I bring the key card? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> did you do it yes. as well? So did you also? You like you freak out, right? You're like, wait, am I gonna like, lock myself out? <laughs> wait. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the, 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 the slot, lah, the, the slot, electric right? slot, yeah. It's like, do you, do you? But you already close the door. Ah. Uh. And then sometimes, like, when you close the door already, it locked already, then I'm like, oh. Yeah, did I lock myself out? in your hand. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, it's there. Or like, sometimes, like, before you go out, you'll, you'll make sure you just look at the key card. And then after that, you're like, oh, you actually also left your wallet mm. or your phone mm. or something, because you're just so focused on whether you have bought the key card with you. Mm hmm. Right, this is a very simple uh, example because uh, of people having the habit of knowing that oh, when we leave the room, we use our house keys, we don't mm. use cards, so it's not normal. So we don't really realize. So how do I actually go about this? Sometimes it's not about just only the key card. Sometimes it can be like, did I put my stuff in the safe deposit box? Right. Did I off like certain things? They are off my charger. Is my phone still charging? Do I have a spare key card? Mm. All, a lot of things happen when you close that room door. And m the worst fear is locking yourself out. So what I used to do and usually do is, is to create like a small little habit or to break a certain habit. Not say habit, sorry. Create a certain habit that breaks a pattern in some way of... Wait, again... Uh, Create, create a, a habit, habit that of breaks breaking a pattern. pattern. Okay. Yeah. Because when you have a pattern, yeah. sometimes it can happen like when you leave your house, even now, you're like, oh no, did I like bring uh -huh. my phone with me? But your phone's actually on the dashboard. Correct. <laughs> then like, oh no. Nah. Because you're so used to it, your body does it automatically. Mm. So you have to break that. Make it a habit to like, break a pattern. So what I do is, is that every time when I 
have everything. I have all like my um key cards and everything. Uh huh. I'll just like shimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Do a little dance. You wanna demonstrate? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> just wiggle. <laughs> I just be girl or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're very relevant. Okay. Um, I just do something. <laughs> I just do something. <laughs> I'll do something weird. Seriously, does I just do something. Does it change every time or you stick to Yeah. It? But if you stick to it, doesn't it become a habit? I just do this. Oh, okay. You know, just change it. Then be like, oh, I did that done. So I know everything's with me. Ah. Yeah, so I just do that. Okay. Oh. There I go. Okay. It's like a check thing, you okay. know. It's like, oh, okay, I have to dance. I just do this. Mm-hmm. I do this. I what I do <laughs> to make sure I don't forget stuff is I say it out loud. So I got my phone, uh-huh. putting it in my bag. Got my wallet, putting it in my bag. And then as we leave the hotel I got room, my common sense. That's, <laughs> given, that's a given. No, that's automatic. <laughs> then as I take out the key card, I'll tell my sister, got the key card. Then she'll check if she has a key card and both of us will be like, The key card here. Yes. And then we'll be, we got it. Okay, then we step out and we close and we're still holding it. Like, oh. Verbal confirmation helps. So you hold your key card like that and then you close the door. Yeah, so we're just holding it. <laughs> you hold it in front of your face and yeah. just like... Yeah. <laughs> so this yeah. is a trick that... Okay, like, when you're like doing your driving exam, uh-huh. sideways a bit. Like, when you're doing a driving exam or any of these like things that require action, you say it out loud to mm. do confirmation and also so that your instructor or your, the person doing the test with you mm. is aware that you know that you know your steps. Mm. Verbal confirmation helps. Mm. Yeah. Although you look a little bit crazy, but... It's okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at some <laughs> point... A bit you, crazy you, though. I mean, we millennials mm. don't care what people think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What do you study? Do you still freak out? Or do you have like... I, I'm always the one responsible for all this. <laughs> yeah, I guess... <laughs> one person take care of everything. Ah, uh, so you're the designated... Check, 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 check. Uh, okay, he's because okay. he's the dad. Yeah. So he holds everything. Do you yeah. hold your, your, your kid's passport? Your wife's passport? Yeah. <laughs> everything is with you. Separate is good. Yeah. Agree, agree. Because if your wife holds on to hers, you don't know what happens to it, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, another thing, hmm. back to fashion. Fanny packs. Ah. Uh, like it or fanny not, packs. right? They are convenient. Fanny packs. The other alternative is those Uniqlo shoulder bags. You're insane with that one. I you love, love it. You love it so bags. good. Yeah. So good. It's so it's convenient because you can shorten it and then yep. you can t- when you tighten it, you just put it across and it becomes almost like a fanny oh, pack. Oh, it's better like one of those better than those bags, like those clutch bags that I used to bring. Oh god, yeah, I used like a clutch bag or something to like put all the stuff in. Ah. Uh. Yeah, the Uniqlo swing bag. Sounds it's, like a better, better option, better. yeah. Because you keep it very close and it yeah. can take quite a lot of things, actually. Uh, this is not an ad, just so you know, not sponsored. Yeah. But yeah. Uniqlo, we don't mind. Uniqlo, don't mind. Okay, so anyway. Yes, yes on to your... Is it mine? My yes. Turn? Yes, okay. So, when it comes to food, you want to eat the local delicacy. Yes. At the same time, you, some of us travel on a budget, la, not all of us have money, la, okay. Mm. Do save on money without compromising so much on the quantity and the quality, eat during lunchtime. Eat during lunchtime. Okay. A lot of restaurants have lunch sets. Right. And most of the time, these lunch sets will also have the local delicacy. I'm going to take Japan, for example. You can try a Wagyu beef for lunch and it's so much cheaper than if you have it for dinner. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Okay. It's, okay. They have a lunch set. So it usually comes with, um, let's say, maybe a steak. Uh, uh, rice, soup, drink, and that's your lunch. But maybe dinner will come a, with a bit more like side dishes. It mm. looks more embellished. It looks more like king lah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you just want to try the wagyu beef yeah. to say that you tried it. Yeah. So the best option is you splurge during lunch, you save for dinner. That's my Ah, oh, that is smart. So you still get to try yeah, it yeah, yeah. for the sake of trying it, but you don't spend so much lah. Yeah, because they have the lunch deals, right? Yes, they do. Some restaurants do. I, yeah, I think most. I think most. I mean, some of the mid range ones they have mm, it. Mm, so it's, mm, these are mostly catered towards working crowd, and of mm. course, like tourists lah. <laughs> oh, also, coming that if we talk about like Japan, they also have the kombini specials, like mm. the late night closing. Yeah. Specials in the kombini. Kombini, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Also in the oh, I went to the grocery store. Uh huh. And they have the late night closing. Yeah, that's actually the best so place to like, stock up on food. So cheap. 
Yes. 100 yen braids. Mm-hmm. So cheap. I just bought like a couple. And even though it's at the end of the day, it's still freaking fresh. It's still fresh. Bought the break for, for breakfast. I know. Like it's say. still so fresh. Yeah. So it's actually value for money. But then, again, everyone knows about this. I know about it. Yeah. It's not really much of a hack anymore, but it's just like something to keep in mind you're traveling. Yes. Don't discount the discounted options. Yes. Because you can go to the convenience store, Combini, yeah, or convenience store, or you can go to the grocery stores late night like after is it after dinner after dinner yeah after dinner 8 30 8 something 8 something onwards, i remember yeah. yeah or is it very close to the but train nowadays they've gotten closing. smarter they try and make it like nine o'clock yeah so a bit that, later yeah right? a bit later because mm. they'll still people will still come and buy at eight o'clock mm. then only when you like super desperate yeah or you're like okay la, last minute just shopping then you see nine o'clock there have- no you buy it for the next day breakfast yeah. Because you can have your dinner. You can have your dinner, like your mm-hmm. dinner dinner set, your dinner deals. But let's say if you want something for breakfast, and sometimes you wake up quite early and the stores are not yet open. Mm. Uh, you don't perfect. Have yeah, yeah, you have no choice. And so perfect because it's so cheap. And all you got to do, if let's say in your uh, hotel, um, there's like a little... I don't know, maybe if they have an oven or like a pantry. some pantry yeah. or something like that. Or something that doesn't need to be heated up or co- or no, something that doesn't have to store in the fridge. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Perfect. It was just like You can first. actually message your hotel um, or ask your travel agent to find out for you if the hotel has a pantry, mm. if they have a microwave or a fridge mm, for you to store. Yes. There. Nowadays, a lot of hotels understand that a lot of people require this yep. and they actually do cater to yep. this type of request. Yep. Yeah. Hot cold water dispenser, mm. ice dispensers. Um, sometimes they even allow you to like... Um, wash your clothes. <laughs> I saw provide, some. There are some. There the, are some. The yeah, or they have yeah. the facilities to yes. do that. Yeah. So, but it doesn't. I mean, that is for Japan. I'm not sure about other countries. Mm-hmm. Um, Australia. If you stay in like hostels, they do have the washing machines and the dryer. They do. Yeah, but they that's do. because if it's hostel, you're mostly budget, so you're traveling yeah. light. Yeah. On that note, I also have an extra hack. Mm-hmm. When I travel, most of the time I do my laundry before I come back. So Too by the time uh, okay. I land, my clothes are still clean, are all clean. I just need to unpack my bag, put it always. So I don't need to do, don't need to deal with a whole batch of dirty laundry. That's why we're a bit different because I'm so lazy. I <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why it's like that's why it's a hack. Not a lot of people do Yeah, not a lot of people do And trust me, all. it yeah. makes a lot of difference when you come yeah. back after flying. You're so exhausted. And you think, mm-hmm. oh, to do the laundry. Oh my god, to unpack. But when your clothes are all clean yeah. and everything, you just like it does oh, make sense. You just put it back. Yeah. But all of us know, we leave our bag there. Yeah, for three to four days. I did that my last trip. <laughs> I left it in my room. Mine was there for one month. And I used it as a I cabinet. Was leaving, <laughs> I was leaving out my suitcase yes. in my room. It's like, and that's why I'm like, oh my god, I'm ready to put this away. We are traveling, vacationing in our room. Yeah. No, we're, get, no, we're getting ready for the next holiday. Yes, we're getting... <laughs> Our luggage is just sitting there on yep. the floor and we just like, oh, I want this. And I just open the luggage and take it from there. Yep. But you don't have to wash it. Mm. That's the best part. Yeah. Ah, uh, so smart though. Yeah. yeah. Not a lot of people do it because it depends on your itinerary. But mm. for me, I usually allocate maybe two hours on the last day to do the laundry. Mm-hmm. It also gives me a good time to unwind from the hecticness of traveling. Mm. So it lets me unwind. So I'll, like, I'll leave my stuff inside the washing machine or the dryer. Actually, bonus points if it's a two-in-one. Some places, they have yep. two-in-one washer and a dryer. Yep. You just walk off, you come back one hour later after a cup of coffee and it's all done. Yeah. And if it doesn't really dry so well, you just hang it up inside the bathroom. Yeah, that's that somewhere. Just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all did it. Yes. <laughs> or hang it near the balcony or like yeah. near the bed. The, the, but the, basically, the chair. it's something you can try yeah. to save time and help your mental state like, when you get back. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Which coming over to my next hack, mm. because you talk about like asking for amenities, right? Yeah. And uh, seeing if there is any way you can shimmy in with like your request. Mine may be a little bit a What's bit controversial <laughs> <laughs> a bit controversial because this one really uh, I'm, I'm not trying to like build this up too high but it really did uh, cause some differences mm. uh, because I did discuss this with people in product team okay, <laughs> I would say okay, okay. <laughs> uh, but it's also good to hear from them as well because they are servicing uh, customers but I'm coming from the customer perspective um, 
this may seem like it's not a hack, but you are you may forget to do it most of the time. Okay, I'm so intrigued now. Yeah, it's it's very simple. It's so simple, and it doesn't. It's really it doesn't. It's it's not. It's, I don't know whether it's even a hack. It's like basically, just smile and ask. <sighs> Sometimes a lot of things can really go. That is true. A lot, actually. For example, there was many times I just smile and ask. If I can get good seats, yeah, I got it without paying. Mm-hmm. Secondly, uh, there's a few times. Wait, I have a few experiences that I wrote here. Uh, baggage storage in a hotel. Okay, you know some hotels, right? When you check in, and what happened is, is that there are some some hotels do provide a section where you can just drop off all your bags there because uh, check ins, uh, maybe a bit late or delayed. Mm. Um, you have to store your bag in there. But when what happens when it's full? You can't. You have to lug your 15 kilo bag around town. I just smile and ask really politely and say, hey, um, if you could just help me, I just want to store this bag only at your place, but there's no spot. So is there a way to put it under your counter? Mm. They took my bag and put it in their office <laughs> with a post-it note with my number there. Uh-huh. They did it for me And they're so nice In the hotel But of course uh, This is where people Start arguing Say oh because Customer is always right And they're mm, always Trying to give the best Hospitality the hotel yeah. and everything. Don't do this all the time But if yeah. you're really desperate You really need it They will know And they will help Correct. But you gotta ask You gotta smile Ask politely Yes Don't be entitled And just go in there It's like Oh I want it I demand it Yeah You know It's not gonna get you there Because if people I worked in service line before and I, if I see people like that, I'll just say no. <laughs> and you're really spiteful. You go out of your way to make their life easier. Yeah. And then I'll just put your bag like in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it there. You know, next to the next to the pot that's full of cobwebs and spiders or like water. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I can be nasty, but I, of course, I'll do the best, but don't be nasty. Don't, you know, be don't be a Karen. Don't be a um, Karen. A lot of people may feel they're very entitled because they pay for the hotel, a very expensive hotel, <laughs> and Troka hotels. Um, <laughs> that's a joke. Okay. Yes, uh, but always just remember to know that those are people and they can feel you as well. They travel as well. I mean, mm. they know, they know as well. So they help. Many times I had to Actually, go to- I do have a story uh, on that. Mm-mm. I went. Japan again. Yep, okay. yep. You love so, Japan. I, I know do. that. <laughs> Japan, please spot to me. So anyway, yes. um, I went to this hostel in Kawaguchiko. Yes. So it has a very beautiful view of Mount Fuji. Yep. And when I went into my hostel, I saw that the lower bunk bed had a nicer view. They gave oh, me the upper bunk bed. Okay. Right. So I already put all my stuff down. And I was thinking like, maybe I should just go down and ask if I can move to the lower bunk bed. Because mm-hmm. the room by at that time was still empty. It was mm-hmm. just me. And there were three other beds that were not taken mm. yet. So I thought, okay, lah, just ask. Lah. I went down and asked like, hey, do you think there's any chance I could like just shift down to the lower bunk bed? Because the view is very nice. I yep. said it very politely. And they said, yeah, sure, no problem. And they just gave me the key for the new uh, bed area. Oh, wow. And I got it and I was like, oh my God, it's like my own my private God. room with a view of Mount Fuji. Nice. It pays off to be nice. I mean, I've asked for like in hotels, I've asked, hey, is there any chance we could like upgrade the room? <gasps> this is like, I'm, I get I so mean, anxious. Yeah. I get so anxious I asking try my this. Lo- oh, I ask, even if it's not upgrade, I'll be like, hey, do you think I could get like a room that's a bit quieter? Then they'll be like, sure, let me check. And then usually they'll be like, yeah, sure, we can, we can actually give you an upgrade. <gasps> they haven't. You I can do it, that. Yeah. And but be very polite and don't oh, demand it, like yeah. you said. Is if they do it for you, it's because you know you were nice to them and yeah. you were understanding and the yes. type thing. They yeah. know, they know that you work in service like before. Yeah. <laughs> they can tell. It's also be nice, like be nice. Yeah. If they can't give it to you, I'm then that's just, too bad. That's just let it go. Yeah. yeah. You pay for what I'm you so get nervous also. Though, yeah. Because for upgrade you need to pay, right? Yes. Then you'll be like mm, <laughs> or even small things like extended checkout. I'll be like, hey, do you think you can extend for an hour? And they'll be like, mm, let me check. Oh, and then most yes. of the time, they'll be like, yeah, sure, we then can. Then I ask, yes, late, early check-in, late checkouts. Yeah. If you ask politely, oh, it goes the distance. It goes yes, the distance. I've gotten, my check-in was supposed to be three. I've gotten checked in at 10 because I was like, yeah, oh my gosh, it's so can good. Can you check if there's any room available? And like, 10 like, is yeah, so good. Yeah, sure, we can. I got mine like at one. 
almost lunch time. That's I not so bad, sad. Right? Yeah, I was, like, I was 10 so was like, I was in my room so and I was like, wow, I love this hotel. Yeah. And you check out, it's like, can I check out at 3 instead of 12? That one really pushing it a bit. <laughs> la. I, I, got say- it, I got it before. I- okay, <laughs> okay. It's like a 3. Mm. <laughs> it's like, because it's really cutting into their check-ins. And their yeah. housekeeping, time. housekeeping time. Yeah, <laughs> but if the hotel is not operating at full capacity, yeah. most of the time they can accommodate mm. your request. La. Yeah. Mm. So, oh, maybe you can book in during non-peak season and can try for an upgrade. <gasps> <gasps> That's that could idea. work. Yeah, that could, that could work. work. Yeah. So you can try it out and let us know. Yeah. Let us know. Non-peak yeah. season. Non-peak la. season, mm. try an upgrade. See how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. like, wow. That's okay. Really yeah. And and toilets. What about when toilets? When I got to go. You'd be and polite I don't... to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> thank you for the flush. Thank you for the... <laughs> for keeping yourself so clean. No, more like... Sometimes uh, you're walking... I've I done this a few times. Uh, I mean, it's not really good, but... I got to go and there was no toilet nearby and I want something nice and clean so I go to a random hotel toilet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so what I do is just I just smile and walk confidently. Yeah. The bellboy, the bell person, the reception they look at me, I just smile the and like, time yes. They won't stop you. <laughs> yeah, I just walk if you're in, using the hotel toilet. lobby toilet, yes. they won't stop you. So huh? good. I mean, you could be a guest it's of a guest. felt like a crime though. Hi. Yeah, I understand. It's like a crime. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like sometimes <laughs> when you look, go to Japan, they have combini, the combini have the toilets. Yes. I feel so bad just going to use the toilet. Yes. <laughs> but at the same time, you're convenient, Matt. Yes. Your toilets are convenient. Yes. <laughs> so I'll be like, ah, come here and buy something for you later. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, just, I just walk in and it's like... Are, you, are we just, people pleasers? I think so. I think it's just our nature to we be just very, in. very nice people. <laughs> Mm, yes, very nice people. <laughs> yes. Sally is uh, smiling at us now. <laughs> Say that. Are we nice? Better be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say it louder, Sally, so the, 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 so the, the listeners can, can, can hear you. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Okay, now this turn is Definitely is it not a threat. Yes. Uh, your turn. My turn, your my turn. turn. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Just now I mentioned something about how people's hack is to like wake up early, go to the mm. location early, mm. beat the crowd and yep. all of that. Yep. Everyone is doing it now. I yeah. go to a location to shoot photos because sometimes I want it without the crowd mm. and for peace and quiet. But everyone is doing it. Mm-hmm. And if you're staying far from that location, factoring that you need time to travel back yep. and forth and everything, obviously you're going to be arriving there as early as the first Extra early. Extra early. The other option is stay overnight in the area. Yes. Do day trips. Yeah. Hey, not sorry, not day trips. Overnight, overnight in those places. Day places yeah. Yes. You stay overnight there. You get to like immerse yourself in the local area culture because mm. it might be different from the city. Mm. And you can be as early as possible without needing to worry about the the moving time and everything. And yes. usually most of the time, because I do this, I'm at the first person at that location. I stay at a place mm. in Kyoto. Mm. Five minutes walk. From the... To Fushimi Inari. Wow. <laughs> Fushimi Station area there. That must be so nice. So oh much, my gosh. So quiet. So quiet. I can do my morning hike. Absolutely no one at all. Mm. Because the, the stalls around Fushimi... It's not open. Not open. They so open there's no 11. souvenirs to buy. Yeah, correct. And, but the first day I arrived there, so many packed, jam-packed. Because yeah. I arrived like about... Three or four. Because you're after. fighting with like yeah, two buses. And and, everything. Yeah. But once I check in, I drop all the stuff, the next morning, drop dead silence. And Absolutely no after one. After the crowd leaves in the evening, it's a different atmosphere altogether. Yes, another tip. Stay near Fushimi in Nari, go in at 12 midnight. Oh my god. <laughs> or at 11 or 10. Basically, night, go at night. You will yeah. see a very, very different view and vibe of that place. Yeah. It's a bit creepy, but so tranquil. Mm. So tranquil. It's extremely tranquil. Quite cold. Um, You can see like a little bit of like the mist and everything mm. that goes in. But if you're like a person who likes all this mysterious and very like... It's a different, no, it's, it's different, very vibe different vibe. It's such a different vibe. Yeah. So different. And not many people can do it because when you go to Fushininari, you can't stay at the midnight because the train stops. Yeah. And you want to travel out, it takes time as well. Mm-hmm. So not many people can do it. So trust me. 
like you said, near the place. Stay That's one really yes, a great hack. Yes. Yeah, stay one night at the place. So, you know, there's this popular street in uh, Japan that mm-hmm. has a view of Mount Fuji. Everyone mm. loves Mount Fuji. Love so, it's this Fuji. street that goes like leads up and then you, it's like very old school lamps and at the end of it is Mount Fuji. Yeah. It got popular on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And now there is a queue lining what, up for photo? that. Yes, oh. for that photo. And because there's a crosswalk there, yep. traffic lights, people are walking back and forth, back mm. and forth to take that photo. Mm. And because of that, there's a queue and the town actually had to hire uh, like traffic guards to make sure you, you're not standing in the middle of the traffic. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because it is still a very busy road. It's mm-hmm. a main road. But people are still like crossing back and forth. Mm-hmm. So I stayed overnight in that town for maybe two nights. Um, because you don't know how the Mount Fuji, whether Mount Fuji will appear. So that's yeah, another reason to stay overnight. Weather, right? Yeah. Correct. You can't control that. Mm. But the last morning when I was in that town, I woke up at five o'clock by luck, checked the weather thing, and so happened that Mount Fuji was appeared. I got out, ran out my street. It was just like one minute outside my door, and I mm. was like, I managed to get the shot. Nice. <laughs> and it was so cute. And there was no car, so it was perfectly safe. Yep. But of course, like, I still abided by the traffic yes. lights and, and everything. And that area is not like city city you know what it's I mean? not city yeah city. so they don't have those working people like coming out i mean yeah. there are but very very, very minimal few, and very it's minimal a town, yeah it's a town. obviously like trains and buses start much later and that's the first train and buses are usually when the first tourist from the city comes in so that's mm. when around nine o'clock mm. i was there like six o'clock in the morning so i could actually go up to the churito pagoda and there was nobody mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. this things actually make a lot of difference to your travel experience like. absolutely yeah absolutely you, it's not just about getting the photo. You get to experience yeah. what it's like after the crowd is gone. Yes. Especially areas with like a very particular landmark that mm. you want to be Or at. you want to be around nature. Yeah. I think all these are best experiences. If you want to stay in the city, well, there are many options there. Yeah. I mean, even transportation is there. But if you talk about places like you said, like in Japan, or it could be also China, mm. or places like in, um, even for um, but, oh, Indonesia, Places are very, very iconic areas. Places that a very particular place you want to be or to do a certain activity or maybe outdoor activities. Yeah, stay a night. Yeah, stay that's one night. thing I, I yeah. realized. Uh, yeah. Stay a night or do so a good. hike around the area. Like if you go to South Korea and Jeju, okay. oh. there is a trail of actually like yeah. several trails throughout Jeju. You actually hike from village to village. Yeah, You can stay in that village area and the locals will actually like take care of you and everything. Oh, that's so that's a good. very nice way to so, learn so the Jeju, culture. Yeah, I heard about the yes. hikes in Jeju. Yes. Yeah. Pay a little more. Of course, it'll be a little bit it's more, more pricey. But, yeah. you know, traveling slower. So worth it though. Is is now what we are more into. Like, we're, yeah. we're no longer like touch and go. Like just to say we've been to a certain place, we're no longer like about that. Anymore. Yeah. For us, it's more about the rich experience about it. Yes. Oh, I sound so flyer. <laughs> <laughs> we're there to immerse ourselves. Immerse ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Be part of their culture. But it does, it does make a difference yeah, to how you travel. It does. Ah. It does mm-hmm. do so much. That one really. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So... How many are we at? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I lost count. Producer, producer, how many minutes are we in? <laughs> 40. 40? <What>? 40. <laughs> 50? Wow, oh my longest. goodness. It's only uh, a, we can. It's not our longest. We can do 30. Nah, like, I can sure do a little we, bit no, longer, we can do a bit right? Longer, yeah. yeah, it's such a long time. I hope you all do enjoy uh, our podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, so far and our hacks that we have um, of course there's a few more but uh, it's all the very big can save one. it for next yeah I can yeah. save it for if next if you have any hacks or like travel tips you can always let us know leave it in the comments yeah. and um, can hit us up also yeah, at you Instagram can just message messages us or... tell us what, what you think about right uh, tell us also about your hacks mm. that we have not mentioned or your experiences or if you think our hacks are stupid or what so <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you can always tell us like we'll be very happy to hear it from you and um, hopefully we can also feature it in our next podcast so and the next podcast what do you think we're going to be talking about what are we talking about what do you think we're we talking talk about we talk about the good things about travelling with hacks maybe right. the mm. horrors of travelling the horrors of travelling the nightmares that comes with it mm. really we have stories juicy stories so <laughs> So make sure to check out on our next upcoming podcast. Uh, just make sure to like, follow, and share um, on YouTube, across over even in our, our Instagram, media, our social and media, and our yeah. panels, all there. Uh, and stay tuned for our next okay. podcast. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.